Dwarf from Banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Adventures Red Chapter. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we began our adventure in Pallet Town, and we made our way here to Viridian City. We also added two Pokemon to our team, or you could say that they found their way to us. So we have Aquaman at level 11, and we have Soul at level 5. I also have the XP share now on Soul, so Soul should be able to catch up on levels. Let's go ahead and make our way out of Viridian City then. If you guys remember, we went inside of the gym, we battled a Machoke whose trainer was himself, so he sent out himself. That's kind of how it works sometimes. You know, life is going to come at you, and you just got to be your own trainer. Earlier today... I'm pretty sure it ran by here. It was weakened by Charmander's attack, so she couldn't have gone far. Charmander, can you smell her? Maybe it's gone. It's still here! Let's go, Charmander! So it looks like Blue is tracking something in the Viridian Forest. We just got ourselves an antidote, so we must be close to the forest as well. And that's going to be very, very cool. It's always great to explore the forest. And we got to make sure we keep up with our rival. So we've made it to Viridian Forest, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and start making our way through here then. What? You're from the forest. That cry. Maybe I can search it up in my Pokedex. Ha <laughs> ha! Gramps told me he'd given a Pokedex to someone else, so it was you. Gramps, Professor Oaks, you're... She's finally here! Whoa, it looks like a Kangaskhan is here. I've been looking for you. You've been testing my patience. Stop! Out of my way! Here we go, guys! Rodri versus... Looks like we're going to be taking on our rival, Blue. He has two Pokemon. We have our two Pokemon. We're going to go ahead and send out Aquaman. He has a Scyther up in front. But let's go ahead and see what we can do here. It looks like we stopped Blue from going after the Kangaskhan. But it's probably a good thing, too, because the Kangaskhan wasn't hurting anybody. Let's go ahead and keep going with the Ice Beam, then. It's not like Scyther is going to be able to do a whole lot. So let's keep on pushing through. I also want to give you guys a very big thank you for all of your tips and your comments. Make sure you go ahead and give this video a big like, as it really does help the series. I asked you guys if you had played this game before, if you had played through this hack. Some of you guys told me that you had, and some of you guys told me that you hadn't. So for those of you guys that haven't, I'm excited for you guys to be joining me alongside this adventure for the first time. And for those of you guys that have, I'm excited for you guys to be giving me tips and helping me along the way. Because I know that I'll definitely need it here in this crazy adventure. Soul's growing a bunch of levels though, so that's always good for us. Level 8 already. We're going to have a pretty strong Bulbasaur. Next up is a Charmander, though, so we're going to go ahead and keep Aquaman up in front. Aquaman's been doing a real great job so far of knocking out any Pokemon that we need to. So let's go ahead and go for the bubble. Oh, wow. Really? The Charmander stood up to that? I really thought that was going to take it out. One more little bubble should do it. We also do have Water Gun, too. But I want to make sure we spread out our moves evenly because I'm sure we're going to have a lot of battles here in this place. We defeat a rival Blue. The Kangaskhan is escaping! We got A40 for winning! It got away! Stay out of my way! Return! So with that, guys, it looks like our rival is going to be pretty mad at us for not helping him out there. What's up, Beedrill? What you doing here? Just hanging out? Trainer tips. Poison hurts. Another one of those fantastic trainer tips. As I was telling you guys, though, it looks like our rival is a bit angry... And I know that a lot of these events that are happening here, such as what we just saw from Kangaskhan, is probably from the manga, which is very, very cool. Now, a lot of you guys told me that I should read the manga, so I am going to do that. I ordered the first couple books to make sure that I can catch up and to know a little bit more about our boy Red here, to learn a little bit more about his adventure, because I want to make sure that we go into this prepared that we know a little bit and by know a little bit i mean i'm just gonna run right into it and hope that our luck pays off which usually it does so like that guys we're gonna gain some xp soul grew to level nine we've been doing good Ooh, vine whip yeah let's go ahead and definitely learn vine whip i'm gonna get rid of growl not one of those moves that we need right now i'd rather just put some moves that we can use because we're gonna have a lot of battles going on next up is gonna be a weedle so we'll be okay against this Weedle. Another thing that I definitely want to do is catch Pokemon that Red also use. So make sure you guys let me know what kind of Pokemon you want to see on our team. 
as we go along and build it. It could also be a little bit different because it seems like we're going to be able to catch a lot of Pokemon in this game, which I'm definitely excited for. I want to use a lot of Pokemon, and I've always built some big, crazy teams, so I think it's, it's a lot of fun. But I also want to make sure that we see those little events and those little sequences that I'm sure are bound to pop, pop up here in this hack, but we're probably going to need certain Pokemon in our party to be able to see some of them. So make sure you guys let me know if you guys have gone through some of those secret hidden events. It looks like we defeated our boy Buggy here, though. So we got 30-80 for winning... And we got poison, mother fudger. Okay, I do have the antidote that we picked up earlier, which is good. I didn't want to use that antidote so early on, but I guess that's how things are going to be. Now, I'm not going to go down this way. It doesn't seem like... Actually, I don't really know where this way is going to lead us. But we're going to go deeper and further in. Because if we see some battles, the bee drill, I feel like, sent me this way for some reason. This tree looks like it can be cut down. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I can't cut that tree down right now. Even if we do have a bunch of strong Pokemon. Let's go ahead and take this guy on. Okay, that was a pretty simple battle. Let's see if we can find any more trainers around here. Why do I always see these little jiggling trees? They're just sitting here dancing. Well, it was this Nurse Joy? Hello, I'm here harvesting Peckaberry. Why don't you take one? Hey, Nurse Joy, are you going to heal my Pokemon or are you just handing out Peckaberries? Is that all Nurse Joy is here for? Just to hand out Peckaberries? So they put her there as a bit of a distraction just so you run into this patch of grass and go up against any of the Pokemon you see? I, I get you, game. I see what you're doing. Let's go ahead and take this guy on. Okay, let's see what else we can find then. We could head to the right. Let's see if we can find some other trainers over here to help us out. Hopefully, we can find some repels soon too. So we don't have to keep going against all of these bug Pokemon. What's up with bug Pokemon just loving to pop out? Alright, that was a pretty good battle. Pretty much Caterpies and Weedles are everything. That is around here. We got ourselves a full heal, though. Looks like there's someone blocking that path. I think we're still going to have to do a little bit more. So I'm going to do a little bit more exploring around here before we get too lost. And by lost, I mean we are already lost. So for now, we're just going to hope that we can head in the right direction and find our way through this place. And if we can find some cool Pokemon along the way, that would be amazing, too. With that, guys, our Bulbasaur learned Sleep Powder, so that's definitely going to help us out. Where is this leading us, though? Once in a while, you got to follow your instinct, and if you see a path that you feel like is leading you somewhere, you just got to follow it. That definitely has always helped me out in any games that I play. What is up, Kangaskhan? Are you okay? Okay, guys, here we go. It looks like we're going to be battling a Kangaskhan. So here we go, guys. Rodri versus Pokemon Kangaskhan. And if you guys remember, we battled the Machoke who sent out the Machoke. Now we're battling the Kangaskhan who sent out the Kangaskhan. And this is sort of what's happening to us here in this game. We're going to be battling a bunch of Pokemon that know how to handle themselves. It's always good to see. Oh, man. This is not going to go as well as I thought. Now, I do have one Ice Beam, so we could hope for something big here, guys. Big Ice Beam hit. That's okay. At least Kangaskhan hasn't really started attacking a whole lot. I wonder if Kangaskhan will even attack us. Seems like we're the ones doing the damage right now. Comet Punch. Okay, Comet Punch. Hit twice. Definitely hurts. We're going to go for another Water Gun, though. And with that, guys, it looks like the Kangaskhan is going to go down. So, Soul gained some XP. We grew to level 14. And it looks like we defeated Pokemon Kangaskhan. I'm here to help. We got zero for winning. Yeah, that would make a whole lot of sense, huh? I knew it. Your baby. Is it okay? Hmm. Thanks a lot. You should... So, that's the reason why you didn't fight back. It's the fire had hit your baby. It would have been really hurt. 
The baby. It's poison. You'll need something to cure the poison. I think I have an antidote or a full heal. It's a wild baby Pokemon. Their body won't be able to handle those kinds of medicine. You'll need a peck of berry. I'm going to look for one. Oh. Okay, so we need to give it a peck of berry. Lucky for us, we already obtained that peck of berry from the Nurse Joy. So here you go. Let your baby eat this peck of berry. Come on, you can trust me. The baby Kangaskhan ate the peck of berry. Ha! Ah, your baby's all better now. There we have it, guys. If I had caught it earlier, I could have taken it to the Pokemon Center. Come on, you know it's not really winning if your opponent is at a disadvantage. Eh, whatever. I'm out of here. See you later, Blue. My name's Rodri. What's yours? If you leave me alone, my name's Blue. Whoa, so with that, guys, it looks like Blue is out of here. The Kangaskhan offered me to rest in her pouch. Oh, heck yeah, we're going to rest in the Kangaskhan's pouch. So we could rest... You know, we couldn't get healed up by Nurse Joy, but we could rest in the Kangaskhan's pouch? I'll take that. If that's how things are going to go, by all means. At least our Pokemon got healed up, and we were able to help out another Pokemon. So great, guys. Looks like we've done good for today. We got the Peck of Berry, and so far, for not knowing what we are going to be doing, we have been doing quite good. I'm pretty happy with the way this adventure has been going, and hopefully we'll be able to help out a couple more people as we go. Aya, yeah, I'm a samurai. Ooh, fearless in Pokemon combat. Okay, that was a pretty easy battle. I don't think there's gonna be anything left for us this way, so let's go ahead and see if we can make our way back to that entrance that I saw where the lady was blocking the path. Hopefully she will let us through there now. And we've also helped out the Kangaskhan, which I'm sure is what we had to do before we can head out of this place. So let's go ahead and make our way back to that place. I'm excited to see what the next town will hold. This game's been very, very cool. Different than all the other games I've played. I've played a lot of Pokemon hacks, but never one that's been truly based on Red or the manga. Or all those little stories that I don't even know much about. So I'm excited to hear those little stories and find out more about the manga than I know. So let's go ahead... And make our way inside. Meanwhile... Hmm? The pH level suddenly increased. What's in there? What? I think I've collected enough berries. Is someone there? Ah! The water here is great. Ouch! Ah, help! Me! Oh, right. Well, I don't know what just happened there, but that is not our problem. Am I right, guys? I don't know what's happening with those people. There, it looks like there was something in the water. Don't know if we could do a whole lot. We don't have surf yet. We don't have any of those moves. We can't really just jump in there. Why is there a Pikachu on the road? Cool, a Pikachu. We got you now, Pest. This is the last time you'll steal our groceries. Ah, that little Pest got away again. I can't watch any more of this. It ran into Pewter City. So there was a little Pikachu here, guys, that seems to have ran into Pewter City. And we have officially made it to our next town. So great. Our Pokemon are actually pretty good and healed up. I wonder where exactly that Pikachu went. So we made it to Pewter City, the Stone Gray City. And hey, there's a little Pikachu. How's it going, buddy? Don't run away. Hey, we're just, we're just want to be your friend. Okay, so this is probably a game. We're going to be playing a little game with this guy. Gotcha! So there we have it, guys. Let's go ahead and battle this little Pikachu. And we seem to have snuck up on it. So Pokemon Pikachu is going to send out Pikachu. Another one of those Pokemon that just like to battle us. Ooh. I'm going to go ahead and Hypnosis it. It's going to do a lot of damage to Aquaman if it can land this Thundershock. If I could hit a Hypnosis, though... I would feel pretty good about taking on this Pokemon. I think we can catch it. I think this might be one of those Pokemon that we can add to our team. I'm pretty sure Red has a little Pikachu of his own. So it would be nice if we could have a little Pikachu of our own here as well. But speaking of that, this Pokemon is doing a lot of damage to us. Wow. Okay, so I'm not even going to be able to land my Hypnosis. But good thing for us we do have soul who also does have sleep powder now 
So let's go ahead and see what we can do with Soul here. The Thundershock hopefully won't do that much. We are level 14, so we finally grew a good amount in level. Mother fudging Pikachu. Really just paralyzing left and right. This is a pretty strong Pikachu. I like it. I don't know if they made it extra strong, but for some reason, I got a feeling about it. It's doing a lot of damage to my team. It's packing some punches, and that's how things got to be. So let's go for the Vine Whip. Let's do as much damage as we can to this Pikachu. And then if I can, I will throw a Pokeball at it and hope that we can add it to our team. Now, I was thinking that I could go for a Pikachu in the Viridian Forest as well, but it turns out that... They pretty much just give you one here. So let's go ahead and throw the Pokeball then. Mother Fudger. We are not allowed to catch this Pokemon at all. The Pikachu woke up. So it is a Pokemon that we cannot catch. It pretty much slapped the ball on its own, you could say. So let's go ahead and wrap up this battle. At least we'll be able to win the battle and maybe find this Pikachu later. If we could add this Pikachu to our team down the road, that would definitely help out quite a bit. So hang in there, Soul. Definitely gained a good bit of levels, though. So we were able to catch up. Pikachu's gone down. And with that, guys, there we have it. Everybody's going to gain some XP. We defeated Pokemon Pikachu. Gotcha. We got zero for winning. But wait. Time to catch it. Sweet, guys. So should I give it a nickname? Yes, we are definitely going to be giving this Pikachu a nickname. And we are going to call it... Thor. So with that, guys... I'd like you to welcome Thor the Pikachu to our team. And now we have Aquaman, Soul, and Thor. This sounds like a pretty cool team that we're building so far. And I'm glad that we added that Pikachu to our team. It looks like we're going to be doing some, ooh, a lot of stuff here. There's a lot going on here in this place. Let's talk to Blue. You. You're taking it easy, aren't you, Rodri? You're slow. You'll never get the Pokedex filled by playing around like that. I'm embarrassed to have you as my rival in this quest. What was that? You want to fight? Come to think of it, we never got to finish our battle back in Viridian Forest. But first, my impetuous friend, allow me to let you in something. This town's gym leader is looking for someone competent to fight him. I intend to do so and win the Boulder Badge. Boulder Badge? Don't you know? The Boulder Badge can boost the attack power of your Pokemon. Every trainer knows that. Well, sorry. Here's my challenge. Let's see which one of us can win the Boulder Badge first. Of course, it shouldn't be much of a match. Ha ha ha! I'll take on that challenge. Oh, and one more thing. Pewter City Gym Leader uses Rock-type Pokemon. Your Poliwhirl and Bulbasaur should have no problem handling that. So sweet. It looks like there is going to be a gym here. You want to watch our dance? Yeah, sure. Okay, guys. So it looks like we are watching these ladies dance. The Unholy Trinity would only mean heartbreak for me. I thought they were going to give us at least an item or something. But it, they, I guess they did not. I guess they just gonna do their own little thing. They're gonna just dance around and then make us go to the gym. But hey, how's it going, Nurse Joy? Always good to see a Nurse Joy. No, 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 I do not see them very often. That's why you surprise me. Your beauty is just outstanding. It's like I've never seen it. It's like it's been years, Nurse Joy. Every time I come through this place, it's like I haven't seen you in a couple years. So with that, guys, is this the Machoke we saw last time? Or is this just another Machoke? Brock is the Pewter City Gym Leader. And I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling pretty good. So let's make our way inside of Pewter City's gym and see if we can take on the leader. So now we have Aquaman, Soul, and Thor. So you know what? We could definitely give Thor another item. So let's go ahead and take the XP share. And I'll go ahead and make sure that our Pokemon get some XP during this. Because I think our first two Pokemon, Aquaman and Soul, are going to be doing a lot of damage. Which is going to be really really good for us so let's go ahead and make our way inside guys and here we go you want to take part in brock's tournament uh yes we do okay we're we'll just wait here we're okay with waiting here it looks like we made it to brock's tournament i only fight worthy opponents show me you're worthy by winning my competition okay guys so we are gonna have to take on a bunch of trainers it seems like What's wrong? Are you afraid? In a tournament style battle. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. I won't go easy on you, kid. He won't go easy on us. Small and powerful. Hi, I'm pumped for this tournament. People always call me fat and useless. If I win this, I can finally prove myself that I'm not useless. So how exactly can we get this tournament started then? I am all about the tournament. The tournament is starting soon. 
We're probably gonna have to talk to every single person here in this place. So let's talk to every single person. It seems like, excuse me, can you stop saying? Okay, I will talk to everyone, Brock. We are ready to start the competition. So how about you get this going, my man? Let the preliminary round begin. The first battle would be between Rodri and Elder Kyle. Here we go, guys. Back in the days, I was known as Dynamite Kyle. Here we go, Rodri versus Dynamite Kyle. So let's go ahead and take on Elder Kyle and his Sandshrew. We have a tournament style gym here. And that is definitely something we haven't seen before. So this is going to be a very fun gym. And it's also going to be really fun because we have Pokemon that should be able to crush this gym for us as well. Let's go for another water gun then. That's going to take down the Sandshrew. And let's see what Pokemon is going to be coming out next. Now, I don't know how many battles we're going to have to do before we fight Brock. So that's something for us to find out. A Vulpix? I'm okay going up against a Vulpix. Our Aquaman is going to get so much XP here in this place. So let's go for the water gun, guys. And, ooh, almost down. Okay, you're going to switch me out for real? Here comes Thor, level 6. I don't even want to keep Thor out because I know that Thor can get KO'd. We're going to switch back out to Aquaman. Once I get Thor up to around level 10, then I'll feel okay with mixing it up and switching things around. But let's go for another water gun. Thanks for the quick attacks there, Vulpix. And with that, guys, it looks like we have defeated the first person we have to go up against in the tournament. We're going to gain some XP. How much is Thor going to grow to? We defeated Elder Kyle. You have won. Oh, sweet. So we are moving on to the next round. The winner is Rodri. I don't live up to my title anymore. Few matches later, Knuckle, Joe, and Kyle are eliminated from the competition. Now let's begin round two. For the first match, Rodri versus Camper Len. Are you ready? Ring it on. Here we go, guys. Let's take on Camper Len. It looks like Blue is still in the competition as well. What an amazing gym this is. This has been one of the most fun gyms that I've seen, especially for the first gym. I think it can be a little bit difficult to have a great, amazing time against a first gym. You usually expect it to be either difficult on your Pokemon or a complete stop for your Pokemon. And this one has just been so different, something I haven't seen before. And when games do this, when games go out of their way to be a little bit different, when gyms aren't the usual thing, that is what I love. I love taking on different challenges, and this is going to be a really great adventure. This is how things are starting off. So with that, guys, we're gaining some XP. Thor is at level 8, so that's pretty solid. A Pidgey is up next, and we're good. We are so good right now. We have an Ice-type move. We have everything ready. Aquaman is pretty much the biggest counter that you could have at the beginning of this game, and that's how things start off for us. It would make sense that Red would start just crushing anything he goes up against as he begins his journey so maybe that's truly how it goes we got 240 for winning though and we made it to the next round we have a winner oh i thought i could at least make it to round three a few matches later len and freddy are eliminated now let's begin the third round this round will be judged personally by brock himself he will determine who is worthy enough to face him what that's not fair what yeah what if he chooses the weakest competitor Silence! If any of you have any problem the way I run my own tournament, then the door is just right over there. No one's gonna stop you from leaving. Now continue the tournament. Uh, it, okay. Round three. Rodri versus Trainer Blue. I didn't expect you to make this far. I'll give you a clap. Uh, can't get past the first round? Getting riled up so easily? Foolish. Why you? Let me tell you another news, Rodri. My champ banner is all Charmeleon. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus... Rival Blue, so let's go ahead and see what our rival has in store. Now, his Charmander has evolved, so we got a Charmeleon to deal with now, and that is going to be a bit of a problem. Charmeleon is pretty strong, but lucky for us, we do have the Water Gun, so let's go ahead and see how much water is going to... Oh! Oh, that is beautiful! That is what I like to see. Charmeleon can't even do anything to us. What are you going to do to us now, Blue? Blue's always teasing us, always poking fun at us, but you know what? We're going to be the ones to come out on top here. So he's going to keep going for the smoke screen. But I feel pretty good about this. So I'm going to go ahead and go for another water gun. Okay, dude. If you can hit that growl. If you can keep weakening me down. It's not going to matter. We believe Charmeleon has gone down. 
So there we go, guys. That is how things go in our favor. Aquaman is now level 16 as well. So we're at least a little bit stronger than that Charmeleon. And Thor is going to be growing a ton of levels here. Now the Scyther is coming out. So let's go ahead and use our Ice Beam. Good thing I saved those Ice Beams. I knew that we were going to need them. It's always good to make sure you get your moves saved up. Always heal up your Pokemon when you can too. Definitely a bonus here. Not something you want to pass up. Especially when you're playing through a Pokemon hack. Which I know from experience can be very, very tricky. Okay guys, we're going to hit one more Ice Beam. Pretty lucky that we froze the Scyther there as well. But with that guys, the Scyther has gone down. And Aquaman is just the bomb here. We're going to gain a bunch of XP. Thor grew to level 10 and learned Thunderbolt. So Thor is going to be caught up in levels. We defeated Rival Blue. You've won! We got 1260 for winning. We have a winner. Huh? Have won? Hmm. Impressive, but our rivalry's far from over. Good luck. Finally, someone who is worthy. A few matches later. Round three's over. Now the gym leader Brock will select the worthy challenger. I've observed all your battle styles. Rodri from Palatown, you're worthy enough to face me for the Boulder Badge. I'll give you a few moments to get ready. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Brock is going to let us get ready. But we have won the tournament, and we are going to be challenging him for our first badge. So with that, guys, let's go ahead and heal up. Make sure we are up to full health. And let's go ahead and make our way back out then. I'm ready to take on Brock. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. And now I know that Aquaman is ready. So let's go ahead and see how badly we can whoop him. I've been waiting for a worthy challenger for so long. Now let's spice this battle up. Onyx Sandstorm. I'm ready. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Pewter City's gym leader, Brock. He's going to go ahead and send out Geodude. He has three Pokemon. And as you guys may have noticed, there's a Sandstorm raging. So this has made it even tougher for us now. But you got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in our team. And you got to believe in the Aquaman. Because that's how Aquaman does things. Aquaman just crushes things. We're level 17. And that's what I like to see. Okay, Thor. Great. Well, we're going to be doing real good. Let's go ahead and keep this going then. We got Geodudes. Whoa. What is a Geodudes? This is amazing. We're going up against Geodudes. Okay, this is so cool. This is very, very cool. I haven't seen anything like this before. It looks like Brock definitely stepped it up, guys. A couple different things he's doing there. He's trying little strategies out. That's what I like to see. Okay, he's got the potion. Well, that's okay because we have the ice beam. So let's go ahead and drop that ice beam. I'm hoping for so boy. That's a little bit, but I'll take it. I'll take it. It looks like Geodude is going to be one of those really tough ones to take down. But I'm going to keep going for the water gun. And as long as we can... Yeah, there we go. There we go. One more of those moves and we'll take it out. It missed its roll out there too. So lucky for us. But right now, we need to make sure that we take it down. We need to secure this win here for us. So with that, guys, the Geo dudes have gone down. And there we have it. Gotta say, the first time I've ever defeated some Geo dudes. That was really, really cool. Next is an Onyx. So yes, we will keep Aquaman against the Onyx. It's level 20. I'm gonna go for the attack. We are gonna get on the offensive here. And we're going to start packing punches from the get-go. So let's go for the water gun because we do have Soul who can jump right in. And holy mother fudger. That did way more than I even thought it was going to do. I was preparing Soul to come out here in case his Onyx was able to take out Aquaman. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, the water gun is going to take down Onyx. And there we have it, guys. We're going to gain some XP. Thor gained some XP. We defeated Leader Brock. No way! We got 37.60 for winning! What happened? Did Bro Brock lose? You have defeated me. I shall reward you the Boulder Badge. So with that, guys, we obtained the Boulder Badge. That is the first out of eight badges here in the Kanto region. Seven more to go. The Boulder Badge strengthens your Pokemon attack. Take this as well. It may help you in your journey. Okay, we obtained TM39. Thanks. Good luck in your journey. 
I'm going to train harder for our future rematch, Rodri. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we've defeated Brock. And with that, we've earned ourselves our first badge. That's what I like to see. We've definitely been doing a great job so far in this adventure. And next time, we'll be continuing from here. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. Make sure you go ahead and give this video a big like. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.